Yep, this is Gainer with her ninja torch. <laughs> this is our the say the foot cover. And as you can see, it's definitely in a bit of a sorry state. This is my um, pedestal cover and this is actually reasonable nick to be honest but it does have some things but what really annoys me is the bottom in the fact that it is like that so I will sort that all out Is that seam all fixed? Very simple fix but what the heck. So all I've done uh, with my binnacle cover is I've taken a couple of inches off the bottom and now as you can see when it's on it doesn't actually hit the floor so it just won't get all wet and manky as much as it did. So that's all I've done with my binnacle cover to sort that out. This is our say, the foot cover and as you can see <laughs> It's definitely in a bit of a sorry state. Definitely past its bait. So this is my next um, sewing project. Uh, because, but because this one is so wrecked, I think it's use this for a pattern and start from scratch. This is our sail cover um, stretched out. And as you can see, I have got holes everywhere. What's happened with this sail cover is um, this is the manufacturer's sail cover, the dark blue, uh, but because it was too small the previous owners added these little bits and as you can see whatever fabric they were using uh, for the additional bits just wasn't up to scratch. Uh, the manufacturer's uh, sail cover um, it's just a couple of rips really but what we're going to do with this is um, I'm going to use this as a template and um, create our new sail cover <laughs> big project for me but it'll um, put me in good stead for um, more projects on the boat later well I've made my first cut into my fabric and I have to tell you, it was quite scary, considering it's simple. But when you're buying fabric, <laughs> just starting a project can sometimes be the hardest part. But um, I've cut the fabric and um, now I've got to do a little bit more cutting. And then I'm going to do the first seam. Oh, help! This is um, ultraviolet violet. This is ultraviolet. This is UV resistant thread, and the um, the smallest quantity I could uh, get it in was a hundred meters. So what I'm having to do is uh, thread my bobbins and um, use those to um, do the sewing. It's a different design uh, we're doing uh, to uh, the one we've got on. But what I've done is I've created, it's like a zip, and this is where our lazy jacks are going to go through. But I'm actually just going to cut it with a hot knife so that it will be nice straight edge uh, down here. Um, and uh, my lazy jacks will come through that, and then I'll put a flap over the top of that so that um, it will just keep everything together. So um, we've got the um, metal ruler. Now we don't have, we've not invested in a hot knife. So we're using a, a hot knife. A Stanley blade that's been rather heated. Start, which has been heated. <laughs> starting from here, yes? Yes. 
There we go. Oh, look at that seam. Let's have a look there. Uh, look how nice and neat that is. This is my new um, cover for the uh, foot cover. And what I've got is an, a lot simpler design. Um, I kind of like made a a zip stitch here. Um, but I've sealed the ends. And what I'm going to do there is we're going to produce a flap to go over that. Um, and then I've Whereas the old design had a collar, I'm not even going to put a collar on. We're just going to put it straight like that. Um, so it's meant that I've basically made it out of two pieces of fabric, which means it's a lot simpler. Uh, and the only thing I've got to do is put a flap here. And I've also got a flap on the inside just to cover um, the extra ropes and stuff but that's got to come down and I've got to put the collar a bit lower. When you're using, um, when you're having to hand sew the palm is uh, your number one friend. Um, I'm even having to use pliers it's that hard to get the stuff through so I've got my pliers and then I put my needle in and then I have to use the palm to push it through and this is why my sewing machine just couldn't hack the job really but the palm you have to have one of these to do in any canvas work at all and uh, you can tell that I'm not very good at using it because look at all those little holes that have gone around the side yep this is Gainer with her ninja torch <laughs> I think this is time to go, don't you, Bev? At least I managed to solve all, salvage what I could from it. Yeah. But... God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think it's toast. So that's it all done. It's amazing what you can do with a domestic sewing machine.